me. And today we're checking out some useful hacks that you definitely need to know. How smart people clean snow off their car. Why clean it off when you can blow it off with a leaf blower? Good for all seasons. Not only blows leaves, blows snow. Aw, oh, that came off clean. Y'all making it look way too easy. I live in a place where it doesn't snow. So you know the iPhone cases that have this soft part? You can just rip it off. What was the reason? Oh, what? Nah, mine doesn't do that. There is no way the Apple part just comes out. But I do have the little carpet. I like it though. <laughs> I need a tool for this. This is like glued in here. And I cannot get a firm grasp. Again, tweezers. My carp is not coming off. I pulled it off with tweezers a little bit. It is glued in here. It doesn't just peel off. Now make me ruin a phone case for what? A cap? So at the dollar store, party city, wherever you buy a balloon from, and it's on the ceiling, you're probably wondering how they get it down. They literally just spray it with water and it comes down like a misbehaved child. <laughs> hey, come here. Yes, mother. This has got to be one of the most useful hacks. If you have a food processor, it usually comes with this attachment where you can easily grate cheese. How do you think the stores do it? They ain't got somebody slaving away in the back manually grating the cheese. No, this is a machine's job. So you just take the whole block, push it in like a juicer for your dairy, and well, bam, shredded cheese. It tastes better, it melts better, it's much cheaper, and it doesn't have all the preservatives of the bagged grated cheese. But let me tell you, I've tried this and it is horrible to clean. Normal people plug in their phone, right? Life hacker. Oh, they made a little iPhone hammock. So your phone don't touch the ground. <laughs> Ooh, so you hang your iPhone by the tree. <laughs> Never mind. Life hacker, more like phone breaker. Several years ago, I thought I was super smart for coming up with this. I took a piece of tape, put it in the middle of the screen where the reticle is supposed to be. And I was like, dang, this is really gonna improve my aim. And it did. But I guess you could also use a flosser, which is actually really good. It works just like a sight. And who needs unlocking attachments when well, you can do this? <laughs> is that an egg? No, it's an avocado! So if you keep it in a glass of water in the fridge, it stays green. I have tried this and can confirm it does work. But you might have a soggy avocado. Look, do you want it a little moist? Or are you gonna eat the second half? That's what I thought. Whoa! Ooh, what is that? The fart amplifier? Or does it get rid of it? What is that? A squeezy device? Put it in the water? Oh, it splashes water! They are making that face because they are currently blasting their butthole with a waterfall. It's like a bidet. A DIY bidet. Does it use toilet water? You, you gotta pour in your own water. Wait, no! I have a question, I have a question. What if you pee in it and then splash? No! That's not what you're supposed to do! So you're supposed to pee and then put this on the toilet and then fill it up with water and then use a little squeezy thing to splash yourself clean. I don't like it. They drilled right through a toothbrush! Attach it to a drill! Whose filthy mouth are we gonna be washing? Oh, we're washing the tiles. The grout. Hey, there is no way! Cleaning the grout lines is not a matter of brushing. It depends on what cleaner you're using. I was gonna say, show this device to your child who doesn't brush his teeth. You wanna brush your teeth or you want this in your mouth? <laughs> is this a threat? Yes. When your dog tries to escape, play dead. I can't take that risk. Especially if you live in front of a road. What if my dog doesn't come back? What if they don't notice I'm dead? And they're like, oh, gotta find a new owner now. Anybody around here wanna adopt me? I cannot take this risk. Also, my dogs aren't allowed outside without my immediate supervision. Send this to someone who likes a French bang. What is a French bang? That's the bang that I like. That's literally what I wanted. <laughs> So you're telling me I could have just done this myself. So I do the thing where I take my bangs and then I, I twirl them and then I cut. But if you do it with a comb, you get the little side hairs. Oh, it actually came out perfect. I will be attempting this. So apparently we've been using trash bags wrong our entire life. And she's gonna show me how to use a trash bag. So you're not supposed to do that? You're not supposed to just, then how? There is no other way. The seam is inside out. Yes, you're right. So how do you open? Why can't you do the, the baggy sound? Let the air open it up. You're being too gentle. Oh, 
What? So you just put the rim around it and then push it inside. Okay. You know, come to think of it, I had someone clean my house and they put it like this. And I'm like, dang, that trash bag is on tight. It's not moving. How'd she do that? Well, now I know how she did it. The proper way to put it in the trash bag. I learn something new on TikTok every day. How to cut a watermelon the smart way. You get the perfect triangles every time. I know I've seen this before and then I must have forgotten because I'd be cutting it the same way every time. I don't know why. Every single time I cut a watermelon, first instinct is to chop in half. Why? I don't know. Use ice to easily remove fat. Okay, so when you're cooking ground beef or some fatty, you tell me you can just dip the ice in and it'll suck out the fat. You know what I do? I take the pan and I like hold it over the side of the sink and then I just pour the fat out of the pan. My way is easier, it's faster, this looks cool, but also disgusting. How to make those uncrustables. Take a piece of bread, just a little bit of cheese, just in the very middle. <gasps> take a cup and you got all Crustable. Oh, next level. Put it in the toaster. Cut it in half. And the cheese is melted. That was the easiest grilled cheese I've ever seen. A minute grilled cheese? Heck yeah. You can even do it with chocolate. I mean, whatever you want to put in the middle of the bread. Pop it out. My gluten-free bread could never. And then it's going to be melted. <gasps> Chalky sandwich. When you hard boil your eggs, put them in ice. And then to get the shell off, put it in a jar and then shake. My friend told me to do this, so I tried it. And guess what? My eggs broke. So break your eggs at your own risk. I've been seeing this folding hack. I don't get it. <laughs> wait, do I do it, do it, do it. Oh, you can do it with pants too? Tuck in the crotch. Oh, this is how they fold them at the fancy stores. Tuck them in. Oh, they look perfect. If folded clothes was this easy, my closet would look so good. Okay, I'm going to hold my shirt and then just... <laughs> no! The only way I know how to fold, and this is the only way I'll ever do it, just shoulder, back. It is okay. Not bad. Acceptable. How to open envelopes without cutting yourself. Oh, well, that was real easy. You just take the flap, fold it, and then pull, and it just opens like that? Nah, y'all make it look too easy. You mean you don't just rip the envelope and the letter on the side and hope it wasn't anything important? If you take hand sanitizer, put it on a receipt. It'll actually erase the ink. So if you don't want mother to know how much you spent at Bath and Body Works, there you go. Now how to delete it off bank statements. Use cash, because cash doesn't count. So when you're putting a band-aid on your finger, you're not supposed to just put the band-aid on the finger. You're supposed to cut each side of the band-aid so that when you put it on, you crisscross them and you can still move finger. I hate when mother frickers can't park. <laughs> Literally picked up the car and moved it so he was parked correctly. What a good guy, a thoughtful citizen. You know, I am so embarrassed of your parking. I'm gonna just get up and move it myself. Dude, move the whole entire car like it was a Hot Wheels. Thanks, I guess. TikTok people who are renters, let me show you how to take your lights down without damaging your wall. When you got those LED strips that stick onto your wall, when you move out and you peel it off, it's gonna damage the paint. But if you use a blow dryer as you're pulling it off, it unsticks it without damaging the wall. Ain't nobody keeping my deposit. If you got a broken tail light, cops can and will pull you over. But this is a quick hack to fix it. Get a red Sharpie, color some clear tape. Well, bam, you got red tape. Just tape the broken part. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. I've been seeing this all over TikTok where they take this sheet of paper, which looks like tissue paper, put it over their spicy noodles, and then apparently it sucks up all the spice. Congratulations, you just sucked all the seasoning off of it. If you can't handle the spice, I'm not gonna be nice. Ah, perfect. Unseasoned noodles, my favorite. My weak taste buds can't handle the paprika. How to cut your kids' bangs. Put some tape on that bad boy and just trim. Comes out straight. Oh, that was easy. Can I cut my bangs like that? Does it only work? Oh, those are. Horrible. Shout out to the girl who cut these, patiently waiting for them to grow back. Ugh. So this is how restaurants do the lettuce. Y'all just pound it real hard on the counter, and then pull out the stem, and it just pulls right out. Pop a burger in there, and it's protein style. I always wonder how people wore multiple necklaces without them constantly getting tangled. I'm like, there's no way. Y'all are just constantly readjusting them. No, you put on two necklaces, unclasp them, and then you crisscross the clasps. So necklace one clasp with necklace two clasp, 
And then the other side, necklace one, necklace two. You crisscross them. And they stay in place, which makes perfect sense. Life changing. Turning a regular mask into a small mask. Perfect for small human. Let me bust out the origami real quick. Hold on. Okay. So you basically like fold it twice and then tie it and then it make a little boat. Boat for face. <gasps> what? White ketchup? No. Take old ketchup bottle, fill it up with pancake batter and make easy pancakes. You know, because it's got a squeezy tip. Pull back on the plunger. And you just let it hit the... Ain't no way. After 14 years in healthcare, I feel like I would know a trick like this if it really worked. This is why I'm a little skeptical at this point, but let's find out. All you gotta do is snap it, right? I'm done. So it works! I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea what just happened. So range, basically hold the hole and then just go crazy with snapping it. Is it to get the air out? I don't know, but it works. Okay, you tell me we put on masks wrong now. What did you do? Twist it and then pull it up. Oh, it tightens it. If the strap is too long for your mask, you twist it, pull it out so it creates a little knot and basically tightens it. Oh, I like mine loose. There are three tips that will better your knife skills in just a couple minutes. When you're cutting something that is round, it's great to make a little flat surface on one side. That way it doesn't roll while you're trying to cut it. Create a claw with your hand, Tuck your fingers and use your knuckle as a guideline. This way you keep your fingers out of harm's way. If you find that while you're cutting things, they tend to stick to your knife, put your knife at more of an angle and then it won't stick to your knife anymore. That's the hack I needed because I cook a lot. And every time I'm chopping anything, it always sticks to the knife. And I have to like chop, move, chop, move. You just cut it at an angle and it won't stick. It's one of those things I never bothered to Google. But Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below something you learned today. And if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button and left. Yes! And make sure you turn on notifications. Click. Click. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. Oh! I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.